Hey, what's going on, guys? Okay, so the Miami Dolphins are going to sign Emmanuel Ogba. Ogba? Ogba? I don't know. Ogba is what I'm going to say. If I'm wrong, criticize me, whatever. Um, but Emmanuel Ogba, defensive end, who was for the uh, Kansas City Chiefs. That's where he played. Just won a Super Bowl there. I'm sure he's very happy. Will be finding a new home in South Florida. So, this is a, an interesting pickup to me. It's uh, two years, if I read right, uh, $15 million, and you have seven and a half of that guaranteed to him over these two years. So uh, interesting pickup for me. Uh, the reason being, Emmanuel Agba is a good player. I like him a lot. I think that, uh, again, I think they're adding these guys who are hard-nosed. They're not kind of, they're not going after like the flashy guys. They're not going after the Yannick Ngakwe's, and they're not going after the uh, Dante Fowler's, who are just like the flashy, you know, kind of finesse kind of names, if you know what I mean, like if that makes any sense. They're going after like the maybe B-tier guys, the the guys who aren't getting as big of a look from other teams, but they're hard-nosed, they're going to work their butts off, and they're going to, you know, play good football how they can for this Dolphins team. So I like the signing. Um, it says a few things to me, though. One, uh, this defensive front is getting a, a huge makeover, and I would expect at least another pick or two uh, to be taken in free agency to improve this defensive line as well. Um, but in current condition, I mean, you're looking at something along the lines of you've got Kyle Van Noy, you've got Shaq Lawson, Kyle Ogba, Christian Wilkins, and Devon Godchow. That's a pretty solid uh, defensive front. Uh, from the Dolphins. That's not bad at all. You've got run support, you've got pass rush, you've got um, consistency. And that's what I like is that this would be a consistent defensive line. So, but the biggest thing that I think this says to me with them pursuing all of these defensive guys is the Dolphins, in my mind, and from what I've, you know, spoken to other people about, and, and what I agree with is the Dolphins are viewing this offensive line as something that's easier to fix in the draft. So the offensive line class for this uh, NFL draft clearly is extremely deep. That's what a lot of people are talking about. And I think that's how the Dolphins are approaching this too. Otherwise, they would have gone out and signed a handful of guys. Um, but they couldn't get their hands on Conklin. Scherf got uh, tagged. Joe Tooney got tagged. Now, maybe had those guys slipped into free agency and not uh, received franchise tags or anything like that. Uh, and Conklin didn't go signing to the Browns the Dolphins would have swept in and tried to make a move. As it is, the only player they were able to pick up is Eric Flowers. So I think what this is saying to me is offensive line is going to be built through the draft. That's easier to do for the draft in this case than the defensive line. I certainly don't think that the defensive line in this NFL draft, you know, the defensive front guys are uh, – as deep, nearly as deep as the offensive line, what we're looking at this year. So uh, I think the Dolphins are going out and getting the guys that they need to get for the defensive line, solidify it, you know, kind of shore up uh, your side of the ball uh, on the line of scrimmage, and then go work on your offensive line in the draft. So we'll see what happens here, guys. Keep your eyes open. Got a lot of stuff coming for you later in the day. Like I said to you last night, I'm going to uh, release like a winners and losers of the first day of the free agency players and teams. So we'll be kind of going over that in a little while. Um, stay tuned for everything, okay? Uh, hit the bell, subscribe, like, comment. Let me know what you guys think of everything. Let me know if you like these kinds of signings from the Dolphins or if you think they're kind of useless. You let me know and we'll talk about it. Appreciate it, guys. Thanks a lot. As always, fins up.